Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with another video tutorial. Today we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2019. This is the latest version. As of the date, this video will be published. Today I'm gonna to show you how to get your plugins or VSTs uh, recognized inside of Premiere Pro and so you can use them inside of your audio clips or with your audio clips. So to do that, you're gonna to come to the edit menu, preferences, audio, and this is pretty much nothing to do with what we're doing right now. We wanna come down here to the audio plugin manager and here we have kind of the default location that Premiere thinks VSTs are in. That's not where I keep my VSTs. So what I wanna do is add another folder. So for me, I keep them on the D drive. So if I come into D drive, programs, VST2, this is where all my VSTs are. So I'm gonna actually select the folder with all of the VSTs inside of it and hit select folder. And you'll see right here. And then the next thing we want to do is scan for plugins. And if you're checking this out because something went wrong and maybe not, something's not showing up or there's some errors, you can hit rescan existing plugins as well if you want to. I'm just going to hit scan for plugins because this is the first time I've done it on this new computer. And we're going to go ahead and let that do its thing. It's going to take a minute because I already have a lot of plugins loaded. So I'm going to fast forward this and come back when it's done. So we want to go ahead and allow Premiere Pro to access the internet. Essentially what that's doing is just uh, making sure your licenses are all correct. You know, you're not you're pirating anything. Um, I'm not sure what would happen if you don't allow Premiere to connect to the internet. Um, I suggest you do because if you're on the up and up, there's nothing to be afraid of, I guess. All right, so here we go. Um, it's got everything I have loaded up inside of here and you see there's a status bar and it says working so that means we're good to go none of my vsts have any errors and they should all be showing up inside of the program so i'm going to say okay hit okay and then to use those all we got to do is jump into effects and say search for something so i'm going to say pro c2 and if you look down here inside of audio effects i've got my fab filter pro c2 and i can just easily drag and drop that onto this piece of audio here and if I come over to effects controls, hit edit, it's going to pull it up and I have full access to the actual plugin itself and I can use it on any audio that I want. So that's how easy it is. Uh, it's pretty much straightforward, but I just wanted to share with you in case there's any confusion. Anyway, I'm Joshua Casper and I'll see you in the next video.